This video is about the number E. Yes, I know E is a letter, but it's, a also, it's also designated to represent a very specific and useful number. So the definition is as follows. The expression 1 plus 1 over n, all to the power of n, actually approaches this number E as n approaches infinity. Now, that kind of definition involves some higher level math that we really need to dig into at this point. We want to just understand that there is a definition for E and then what we'll be using as an approximation for it. E is an irrational number that's kind of like the number pi or square root of 2. So we can only approximate it with a decimal. Now this number is programmed, or at least an approximation of it, is programmed into a TI graphing calculator, so that'll be useful for us. It's approximately 2.71828. Let's consider the example where we want to approximate f of negative pi, where f of x equals e to the negative 3x power by rounding to three decimal places. Okay, first of all, let's notice a couple things. Our function is written in a format that is exponential, as we've seen defined here recently, where, remember when we say like y equals a to the x, in this case, a is this number that e, we're defining as e. So it's really just an exponential function, and the calculator can help us compute with this value. Since we want to find f of negative pi, let's go ahead and make note of that. Um, there are a couple different ways we could handle this. We'll turn on our graphing calculator, and let's try using the equation editor, though, again, with only a single input like we're trying to do here, you really don't need to put it in the full equation editor. Uh, you could just compute this, you know, with one particular number crunching input value. Let's go ahead and turn on our TI-84 plus graphing calculator and see how it can help us with this computation. Our function is f of x equals e to the negative 3x power. Now we have to be able to type that in, and we can, but I also want to utilize the equation editor for this. You wouldn't really have to, but it's just a convenient way to handle uh, inputs and outputs. So let's go ahead and go to y equals, clear out whatever else you might have there, and then note that we actually can use base e in the following way. Down the left side of your buttons on a TI-84+, Plus, a few buttons from the bottom, you'll see a button that has the capital letters LN on it, but you'll also notice that if you hit the second button and then that key, it'll actually use an e, a base e uh, expression uh, in the calculator. So we have e to the power of, and then that's where our cursor is flashing. Now in our given function that power is negative 3x. So we'll just type in negative 3x for it, and that will then put that function into our y1 equation place. Now we want to evaluate that function at negative pi. So let's go ahead and get out of this screen that it's now that it's saved in there as y1, and let's use the calc feature. So we'll hit second calc. The first option says value. That'll allow us to find the value at any given input, and our given input is negative pi. Now negative pi is a nasty irrational number, but again the calculator has a way of approximating it that will be useful for us. So we're going to put in negative, and then recall the pi button uh, is if you hit second and then the up arrow caret for exponents, you'll get negative pi. We'll hit enter, and yes, it'll be approximating things here. Now, this question said to round to three decimal places, but if you observe the output, um, it's so long in digits that it seems like it might just be cutting off our number after three decimal places, which means we don't know what the next fourth place value is, which we would use to round to three values. So let's go ahead and just change it and round to two values instead. So as our calculator told us, it turns out that f of negative pi is 12,391 point or and 65 hundredths, so 0.65. Now this example was really just to kind of show off the calculator's power in computing these nasty irrational numbers. Of course it's using approximations, but um, whatever it approximates is plenty good for us, so we're going to just go with that and be able to utilize these buttons as necessary.